Hey guys, um, it's me Andrew. Um, I haven't really done a video lately. I've been super busy and um, I just haven't got around to making videos. I had a bunch of videos that I had previously made. Um, they were all on my laptop and my laptop just crashed on me and I lost all my videos. I had about a good 20 videos to put on YouTube and my computer crashed and I lost them all. So this is me, my first video of the year. Got excited. Everyone's been getting on me to make new videos and whatnot, so I figured I'd make a video. So, um, um, what's it been like in Florida? It's been cold. Um, we've had a few uh, hard frosts and stuff like that. I'm bringing all my house plants from my outside into my garage because they're really big and I don't have room in my house for them. So I'll make a video of my garage because it's a jungle in there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's been pretty good here. Um, Winter is full swing, so I've got my room pretty packed with some plants. Um, today I'm going to show you how to propagate um, cactus. Um, this is um, Euphorbia. It's um, I forgot the common name for it. It's Euphorbia species. Let's just call it that for now. And then when I do find out the name, I will put it on the description. And I'm gonna. I got the zip tied. So it doesn't move. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you guys on um, how to propagate this. I've had this plant. I gave this this is a piece that I got from my grandmother that I gave her the original plant to a few years ago. And on uh, my piece had died. So she had gave me a piece of hers. I've had this for I wanna say two years now. And it's really tall, actually. We'll angle it down. That's the pot. Got some plumeria cuttings in there. And then that's it itself. Try to zoom in here. It's clumping, and there's one main stem in there. So I'm going to go and show you guys how to propagate this. And we're going to be focusing in here, which is the main, pretty much the middle area. Um, these are all pretty good sized pieces, um, but I want to slim it down a bit so it's not too crowded in there. Now with cactus, with euphorbias, they leak a sap when you cut them, and they could be irritant. So I want you to be aware of that when you do propagate this, prune this, whatever you do. I want you to do be careful with that because some people are allergic to the sap. I'm not, so I'm okay with it. Um, background knowledge on this plant is it's really hardy. Unless you get really bad cold snaps, this wool plant will freeze back and not come back. So I'd recommend keeping it in the pot like I did so I can move it in and out. And um, right now it's turning green, but if you leave it outside, it'll turn a burgundy, like a purple. The leaves are still holding it, but they're starting to drop now. But it, it will hold like a really good burgundy color and really pretty. And this plant gets tall. This plant will get about, about seven, eight foot if you really let it go. and and it's frost free protection or in the pot. And it's really big. So I'm going to show you guys how to propagate this. I already took some cuttings off of this lower here. Um, and I rooted those and I gave them away to people. I wanted some. So um, I also want you guys to be careful with these because they do have spines on them. So I also want you to be careful. So how we're going to propagate this is with this. Um, scissors, pruner, doesn't matter any of those. You can use, I'm just going to use this. Mix it down. Alright, so I'm going to take off this little one right here. This one right, right here. Um, what you want to do is you want to get this really close to the set stem as possible. If you can, hold it. I recommend this with gloves, but I'm not allergic to this plant, so it doesn't bother me. And just cut. And now it's going to start leaking sap. It's already starting. And you're going to take the cutting. And you're gonna let the cutting. You're gonna let the cutting. Let me get out of the way. Oh, oh might as well just do it. Ah, okay. You're gonna let the cutting callus over for a little bit. This is where I cut it from. I've stuck it in some dirt so it clogs the, so it's not um, oozing out right here. But it is a little bit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this cutting. You're gonna let it dry out for a day or two, maybe even four, four days max. And then you're just going to stick it in the soil, leave it, don't water it for a little while. And after two weeks, start watering it really lightly. 
and then um, check on him periodically, give it a few tugs to see how it's doing. And um, after about two to three weeks, it should be rooted. And um, put it in a really sunny spot. They like warm spots. My room doesn't get a lot of sunlight because I'm on the north side of the house. So I put a light over it with a special grow light. So that's why I keep it in here. But yeah, this is one cutting. I'm going to do another one because I really want to clean this plant up. Because I want to keep um, four stems on here. Um, here's the next stem I'm going to be taking off. It's a little bigger. Because this one's growing kind of crooked in here, so I want to clean that out. So, like I said, you're going to hold it without getting stabbed. And then you're just going to let it drip for a little bit. What I do is I normally just dab it in the dirt, and it seals it up pretty much. Oh, I can't see it because of my shirt. Okay. And you pretty much just clean up the cut right there. So I cut it. This is the plant itself. It's kind of big. Don't worry about it. It drops its leaves. That's a thing of his. What it normally does. It drops its leaves. And it um. And it um stores energy. So yep, yeah, that's how you cut it. There you go. So now I got two cuttings. Um, soil. I want to go over real quick. You want to use the soil. You want to use the soil that that um that doesn't hold water you want to get like a really um sandy loamy soil something that um drains real quickly um because this really doesn't like wet feet and if it does get wet feet it will most likely rot out so i really would prefer a sandy loam so a real cactus mix um something quick draining and um and of that nature and um these are so easy to take care of really minimal more and they do, they do great, really. So um, this is a really good plant. I'm, I'm gonna get the name of this. I have an idea what the name is, but I don't want to be wrong on it. So um, I'll write it in the description below and um, some facts on it and stuff. Because this plant, the green variety of this, is readily available at Lowe's, Home Depot, and stuff like that. So it's easy to plant to get, easy to plant to grow, and easy to plant to propagate. So it's a really good beginner plant. Um, the only thing with this is just lighting and watering. You could get fertilizer once in a while, but um, pretty much lighting and water is the main thing. So, um, yeah, I hope you like the video. I'm back. And, um, you know, I probably think this cactus here. I'm back, so um, I'll be making more videos, so don't worry about it. I'll be back for sure. And um, next video that I'm going to do right after this. I'm going to show you how to propagate a hooker cactus. It's a pretty unique cactus. I don't know how to classify it though. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. It's going to be our next video. Um, it's going to be interesting. So um, yeah, it's great being back guys and I uh, look forward to posting more videos.